good, Slab Nation? Welcome back to another Slab Duel. Today, we're doing a reaction video. You know my boy Drake, Drizzy Dream. <laughs> Dropped an album upon a head tops Scorpion. You know, the album comes right here. Boom. Scorpion. Before I start the video, I want you guys to go down below, hit the thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe, because we about to get litty. All right, so let's get right in. Jump first. First song. So before we start, I'm going to talk about a little about the album. Apparently, it's a double album. There's like 25 songs in it. Got some features from Jay-Z, some Michael Jackson in there. I know Michael Jackson. So let's get right in. And first song is Survival. All right, so Drake, I see what he's doing. He's, he's trying to ease us into the album. He's hitting us with a little lyrical action right now. So I'm feeling the vibe right now. Let's see if it gets pumped up. So this one's like more of an introduction, what I can see. It's all right, whatever. I'm not really into introductions on albums in general. So let's go to the next song, Nonstop. Okay, okay, different vibe, different vibe. Hey. Look, I just flipped the switch. Flip, flip. I don't know nobody else is doing this. Body start to drop, hey. Hit the not bad so far, it's all right. I feel like it's more of a chilling, you know, cruising song, but like, eh. Let's see if it picks up later. Go from 6 to 23 like I'm LeBron. Serving up a pay. Hey. Serving up from, a pay. Stop that. Went from 6 to 23 from LeBron. If you guys don't know, from Miami Heat, we're at number 6 right here. To Broom, LeBron, we're back to 23 again at Cleveland. Lines, all right. All right, Drake. I see you. Just pulling gimmicks because they scared to rap. I'm light skinned, but I'm still a dark nigga. Hoo, hoo, hoo. He's light skinned, but he's a dark. I ain't gonna say the word because you know I ain't black. But you just say he goes hard, man. He goes hard. Just recognize Drake, man. He goes hard. So far, that song, don't really vibe with it. Give it like a 6 out of 10. Next song, Elevate. Let's hope this elevates the rest of the album. Elevate. Okay. Only obligation is to tell it straight. So much on my plate, I gotta delegate. Pass a drug test. We gotta celebrate. So what we know from before the album was dropped that this album was a mix of R and B and rap. So we're gonna see some vintage rig in here singing. So I can see it right now. And elevate. Let's see. What else he's got cooking up for us? If you need me, you can call me. I stay busy making money. Yo, this is a banger. Yo, this is gonna be on freaking radio nonstop. We got the old Aubrey in the building. Man. Vintage Drake is just a beast. I love Drake, I love the old Drake even more. He bringing us something classical on this album. I love it, I love it. So Elevate guys, like it, it's a banger. Eight out of 10 for me, that's a dirty song. Let's jump in next song, Emotionless. Okay, okay Drake, we got a choir in here. Let's see what we got. So far, it feels like, like one of those feel-good movies you got going on at the ending or the beginning of the movie that gets you right in. That's what Drake's going for us right now. So maybe maybe it lightens the mood up. Or maybe not. Love me until I'm gone. And even anything that comes after is moving on. I can't even capture the feeling I had at first. Meeting all my heroes like seeing how magic works. The people I love. Iconic duos rip and split at the seams. Good-hearted people are taking it to extremes, leaving me in limbo to question what I believe, leaving me to ask what... So like I said earlier, it's going to be a lot of mix of R&B and rap, so 
So it's really soothing right now, just like easy going with the flow kind of music. Um, I th feel like Drake is just trying to drop more lyrical on us. It's, it's not too bad. Um, it's okay. I'd like to see it being bumped up more. Maybe that's on the other side of the uh, double album. So let's see it. Keep it going. Uh, emotionless, not too bad. I'll give it an average like a 6, six to a 7 out of 10. Um, before we continue, don't forget to go down below and subscribe. And next song is God's Plan. We already know that's a banger. We don't have to listen to that. Song after that, I'm Upset. Don't have to listen to that. We already know that's a banger too. And song after that is called 8 out of 10. Let's jump right in, guys. I've never been the type to make amends. If shit was at an 8, we like to, we like to, we like to. Yeah. If shit was at an 8, we like to make it 10. One to send it sin. I'm going up all the way. I don't like to talk when there's nothing else left to say. I'm kind of really feeling this flow right now. He's just like. Boom, 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 boom. Fucking with it. It's so dope. Different style of Drake. Haven't really seen this before. I'm fucking with it. So let's continue the song. Trizzy by the drive, the game is in disarray. Okay. I tell you, hear me out, but we both know end of the day. Your sister is pressing play. Your train that I can tap into. Max said the only bless I catch an attitude. I got a whole other level that I can tap into. Man said he got a whole other level he can tap into. Man make him feel like his Goku turned into Super Saiyan right now. Jeez, Drake, what are you saying upon us? Max said they only bless when they attach to you. The sun on the forehead and kiss your ass goodbye. As luck would have it, I've settled it. So we all know from the beef between Drake and Pusha T that Pusha T came out and said Drake has a son. Story of Adidon, you know, all that good stuff. And we know that Drake's uh, son's name is Adonis. And then in this song, he confirms he kisses his son upon his head top. Uh, we don't know if Drake's just throwing that line out there from a different perspective, but like, lines have, the dots have been connected, guys. Into my role as the good guy. I guess luck is on your side. I guess luck is on your side. All sevens, no sixes, rest easy, get some shut up. All sevens, no sixes, that's dope, you know. 666 is like the same number, you know, that that's bad, some bad juju, devil shit, devil worshiping shit. 777, you know, that's a good luck number, that's that lucky seven. So far, 8 out of 10, I vibe with it, I give it a 8 out of 10. See what I did there? Alright, next song, Mob Ties. So far, Mob Ties, not too bad. A lot of mumble rap in there. He's trying to bring that beat up in it, into it. Not a bad song. It's alright. Um, not really vibing it. Jump right to the next song. Can't Take a Joke. Okay. I feel like this might be a, a you don't know, might be a shot at uh, Pusha T. But we'll see. This song, fire. I straight fire, dope flow, just like boom, 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 non stop, not stopping, just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep rolling. Such a dope flow. Uh, I like it. Just gonna keep continuing the song, see what else he has for us. Jake just murdered this flow, murdered it. Give it a 9 out of 10, just based off the flow, 9 out of 10, easily. Next song, we're going to Sandra's Rose. Real one, Mary Carter couldn't even get the deal done. Niggas scared to come towards us, gotta run from us. Rope like Indiana Jones. I make them hoes walk the river like a sh. Sandra's Rose, not bad. It's okay, uh, not really vibing it. What I've noticed as we're getting closer to the end of the first side of the uh, album is the first part it's more of a R&B slash chill um, feel good kind of action um, we got two more songs but I feel like side two the real Drake's gonna come out he's gonna go hard he's gonna put it all out on her 
So uh, next song is featuring Jay-Z, Talk Up. Let's see what it's about. I'm so proud of who I become. You might think I'm taking some lumps. Only if we talking about some. Yeah. Intentions are pure. He's about to right jump in. Jump in right there. The flow's about to take off. We all know that. Can I tell me relax? My mentions are jokes. But they never give me the facts. This isn't that. Can't be ignoring the stuff. I don't understand. These niggas gotta adapt. You know where I'm at. I put the six on the map. Woo! Yeah, I did. Get close enough to host my like a kilo still. First album 26, I ain't need no deal. Already a hood legend, I ain't need no shot. First roll, he flooded out, I ain't see no time. Whoa. Stand up, niggas. We only ducking in diamonds. Dope boys, off white. Looking like soft white on him. I'm gonna be shoot a bit. Jay Z's line, Jay Z's always dope on a song, so props to him. Uh, Drake, the song's pretty dope. I'll give it like a 7 out of 10. Just because I was expecting more with Jay Z and Drake, but like, still not a bad song. Um, and uh, next song is Is There More? And let's jump in. Last song of side one of the album. Only crying I do is crying from laughing about it. Only lacking I can do is my lack of responses. Only rest that I do is where the rest of my commas. Still I rise, my Angelou vibes. Where life coming at you from all angles and sides. And they don't want to see that you smiling from inside. It really counts. Is there more to life than saying I figured it out? Is there more? Yeah. I feel like is there more it's talking about is there more to life than just like yeah so uh i don't really vibe with the song uh it's kind of trash actually in my opinion um i give it like a four if that out of ten side one is done let's jump into side two and see what drake's got cooking up for us first song peak of side two okay vintage drake on us I really like this song. It brings me back to like a vintage uh, Take Care Drake. If y'all don't know about Take Care Drake, go check out that album. This fire album. Dope album. Um, this one's pretty dope. I like it. I'm just going to continue and see what else he got in sword. More of like a love song. Vintage Drake, like I was saying. Okay, a beat. Hey, man, love this song. This one, so far my favorite song on the album. Such a dope song. A lot of people don't understand that the un the old Drake was very underrated. People threw him under the bus just because of how soft he was. I actually loved it. It's pretty dope. It gives you a different perspective instead of all these other uh, rappers. Uh, but yeah, this song is dope. I give it a 9 out of 10. Um, next song is Summer Games. Sorry guys, just got really into it right now. I think you're changing your mind. Starting to see it in your eyes. I used to love a good surprise. Yeah, but just hold on, we're going home by Drake. Um, so what album was it? Nothing was the same. It's a dope vibe. I'm really liking it. Uh, second side has been nothing but great so far, so let's just continue it. Said you want a simple life and that's not me. How you go from that to ending up with someone just like I can do these. I can do same. I can do these. You don't know He's all 
already down. <laughs> Let's go, Drake. That song, Straight Fire, I give it also a 9 out of 10. Peak and Summer Games have been nothing but excellence. Excellence. Next song, Jaded. Let's go. Alright, alright, right, Drake, I see you. Dipping out on me already. Got what you need, I guess. Quickly. Learn yourself through me already. Gave me what you need, I guess. I guess. Yeah. Swap New York, I can decide. Fashion week is more your thing than mine. I can't even lie. I'd rather stay inside. I can't do all. You stay on my mind all the time. All the time. Yeah. Yes, he can. Finesse, dope song. Um, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. Still another vintage Drake. So the side two is more of a vintage Drake. I like it. Um, let's keep it going. Next song is Ratchet Happy Birthday. Ratchet Happy Birthday is honestly trash in my opinion. Um, I don't know. I'm not really feeling like give like a 3 out of 10 if that. Pfft. Drake, I don't know what you think about the song, but not my favorite. Next one is That's How You Feel. That's how you feel, not really feeling it. Um, 5 out of 10, average. Um, yeah, trash in my opinion. Just like, I think, I feel like so far what I've noticed, Drake's overdone with these songs and just similar styles, but like, he could have just done 15 really good songs so far, but like, I'll, I'll save my full reaction at the end, but I'm just gonna give you bits and pieces here and there. So that's how you feel? Nah, I'm not really feeling it. Um, next song is Blue Tint. The way things set up, it's like, man, let me repeat that for you guys. The way shit is set up, I look like Ronaldo, but I've never been to Madrid. She I told her I pray for the kid. What a time this is to be alive for the shit. President doing the sin. My window got blue because I'm nice to your friends. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, they shouldn't have told me, but they did. What a time this is to be alive for the shit. Blue tents. Alright. I really feeling it also. Uh just feel like that was a force of a song. Don't feel like Drake and you really need that song. Oh, well, um, next song, In My Feelings. My feelings not too bad so far. Um, still similar vibe as uh, Blue Tint and the rest of the side two of the album. Um, decent, decent. I feel like this song is more like Trick, uh, really catching feelings for this girl that he's falling for and just like buying her anything she wants. So like, my man's is in love. My man's is in love. Drake, what are you saying, bro? Uh, in my feeling, it's a decent song. Give it a 6 out of 10. Um, jump into the next song, Don't Matter to Me, featuring Michael Jackson. This one seems pretty hyped to feature Michael Jackson, but you never know. So, let's get into it. Drinking's 
enough of us. Strong just on suiting you right. You were just fine as what you're saying. You, you, you know. That's not the way to get over me. You don't want me to. So we just heard a clip it of uh, Michael Jackson there. Uh, I don't know what song that was from. Sound pretty good though. So far, the song's not too bad. Chill vibes all the way around. It's one of those uh, songs that you just want to like relax to. Kind of thing like sit back, relax, um, and just put on some tunes. Just soothing. Uh, it's not too bad. This, so far this song don't matter to me. I really like it. I give it like a seven and a half out of ten. Um, I like it. it has a different effect to it. it. Has a Michael Jackson clip it feature into it. Gives you a different um, perspective of a song. It's pretty dope. It's not like the rest of these uh, side two soothing songs. This one's actually pretty dope in a different sense like I said about the Michael Jackson. Um, I like it. Let's get into the next song called After Dark featuring Static Major and Ty Dolla Sign. So far what I can feel from the vibe I'm getting off from this song is like a it's like a classic 90s song, kinda like a slow RB, but we knew this was gonna be RB in this uh, album. But this is pretty dope. I didn't think it would go Drake could be trying to take it all the way back, like an old Tyrese kind of vibe. It's pretty dope so far. It's pretty dope. Uh, I give it like a 7 out of 10. Also, like I said, in uh, similar to the Don't Matter to Me featuring the Michael Jackson, it's another soothing song, but like giving a different twist with. Ty Dolla Sign and Static Major give another effect to it. It's pretty dope instead of the rest of the uh, um, chilling songs, so to speak. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad. I give it a 7 out of 10, like I said. Um, next song I'm jumping right in is Final Fantasy, second last song of the album, side two. Talk about dick that I want to give you a places I want to get to. Neck grab, head grab, arch back, heart attack, cardiac. I need it nasty like... Like evil angel, like vivid, you know nasty, like how they give it, you know. Did somebody, who did say that baby look like? Right, that baby. Like Final Fantasy is just all right song, five out of ten. Nothing really much to see there. Um, and we'll jump into the last song of the album. Side two, March 14th, let's finish it off right. There we go. Kid is mine. Boom! Did you guys hear that line? Let me replay it for you guys so you can hear it again. She not my lover like Billie Jean, but the kid is mine. She not my lover like Billie Jean, referring to the Michael Jackson song, Billie Jean, uh, but the kid is mine. Yep, it's a confirmed by Drake himself. Second time in the song that he does have a son. So, let's continue the song. Say he used to tell me all it takes is one time and all it took was one time. Shit, we only met two times, two times. Single father, I hate when I hear it. I used to challenge my parents on every album. Now I'm embarrassed to tell them I ended up as a co-parent. Jeez, this one goes hard so far. Um, this is a reach, but I, but actually no no it might not be a reach. The song is called March Fourteenth. I'm I'm guessing so far the song is about his son, so I'm guessing it's the uh, his birthday of his son is March Fourteenth, and the the final line like you guys heard was uh, he was giving heck to his parents about how they were co-parenting and now he's in the same spot. So you know they say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You know you know you haven't met your grandfather yet. That nigga a trip. He probably could have did stand up. Talking about Dennis, his dad. Talking about how he's a trip. It's hilarious. 
But at the same time, what he means by that is for both of them meet mutual ground, mutual meeting, and uh, I guess they're not on really good terms. Um, but hopefully they come around and are good when uh, when when his son comes of age. So yeah. I got a good feeling. You got a good spirit. We'll talk more when you hear this. My team. Wow, wow, what an album. So far guys, the album overall, let me just scroll through, overall, is not too bad. Um, I feel like a lot of the songs were just forced, 25 songs, you don't really need 25 songs to make a great album. Um, I feel like a lot of these songs are repeated, so he could have cut this down to maybe like 17 songs in my opinion, you know, eight on each side for the double album uh, effect. Uh, my favorite song is probably Peak and Summer Games, like I said earlier. Uh, March 14th is pretty dope. I like it. It has a lot of significance to it. Talking about his son and and like meeting him later on as he grows older. That's pretty dope. Uh, overall, the album, I'd probably give it a 7.5 out of 10. Um, I was expecting a different vibe, but still a pretty dope album. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the thumbs uh, thumbs up. Go down below and subscribe and let me know what you guys want me to do next and I'll see you guys next time and peace.